concept of the woodenness of the wooden spoons. It's all about the ness of the object. The child needs to experience wooden spoons in lots of different situations, same and different. They're one of the biggest concepts we teach children and one they definitely categorically need for pre-braille is same and different. Without that understanding of same and different, they're never going to understand one braille shape from another. Do I eat from this end or do I eat from that end? Does that spoon fit in my mouth when I make porridge? Or do I need a smaller spoon? How many spoonfuls of porridge do I need before I feel, feel full with that spoon? I'd need about 20, and that would make the same as four of those. So if my dad eats porridge, does he need four spoons like me, or does he need 10 spoons like this? So I needed 10 of those, and my dad needs 10 of these. Oh, that's different because he's bigger, his, his stomach must be bigger. Well, let me look inside your stomach. Oh, hang on. Oh, I can't, I can't get inside your stomach. Oh, I can't get my hand out my throat to find that out. So I've got to guess what that looks like. So how do I know when I've had enough? Enough? What do you mean by enough? Well, when you feel full. Well, what do you mean by full? Well, when you full up. Till I actually make porridge, eat porridge, wash the spoon, Feel it, the spoon when it's wet, dry it, feel it when it's dry, know where it goes in the kitchen, put it away and hear it going in the drawer, go back and get it out again and make scrambled eggs or baked beans this time. It won't have the concept of the spoons, the wooden spoon, this is the wooden spoon. And then we move on to things that are similar, but different, the same characteristics, object characteristics, but there's one thing different. Making porridge, making cakes, making whatever is the real experience. And we can build the concepts out of it and we can build pre-braille through that experience. We can make a book about spoons. We can move on to plastic spoons, different sizes of plastic spoon. We can move on to metal spoons and put these in a book and add an audio label that says plastic spoon, metal spoon, wooden spoon. So the book and story skill element is built up. We can add in the initial letter sound for each, each um, of these objects.